those are the hardest people to to land right now. So how does this how does Overjet make this the the hygienist job simpler? One of the things you said there was that like most offices, the hygienist is capturing a lot of this information right now. And I know in the dental industry, the biggest shortage is actually in hygienists. Those are the hardest people to to land right now. So how does this, how does Overjet make this, the, the hygienist job simpler? And then what does that, does that mean I have to hire less people now? So I think it, it makes, I would say rather less people, it's making it more efficient for, for everyone. So, uh, you know, uh, so I, for example, simple things, right? When hygienist collects, for, for example, x-rays, then they go and uh, put the x-rays on that FMX template in the right uh, orientation. And, or, or you know, if, if it is, the x-ray has been taken upside down, they rotate it, you know, pres- uh, and when the uh, dentist comes in, they present that information to the dentist in such a way that they can consume it more effectively. In this case, the software does take care of that manual uh, manipulations that are needed. You know, if, if any filters need to be put in place, that can happen more automatically. All the annotations are already done. So when the dentist walks in, it helps in that communication as well, because a lot of times the hygienists are are seeing stuff because, of course, they're diagnosing along with the dentist. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but they sometimes do not feel in, uh, confident enough to uh, to uh, state what they're, what they're seeing. Uh, uh, and when they see uh, uh, that their uh, intuition uh, is uh, similar to what the software is showing as well, they're much more confident. And when it, especially when it comes to uh, procedures like scaling and root planing, uh, which hygienists uh, are uh, very involved in the diagnosis piece of it as well, this helps... Uh, quantify bone levels, for example, and really solidify that diagnosis in such a way that uh, the 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 hygienist is very confident, as well as then the dentist can make the right decision as well. And that way, I think it improves that communication between the hygienist and the dentist, as well as the communication between the hygienist and the uh, and the patient as well, improving that patient experience, but also improving as the patient experience improves, improving the hygienic experience as well. So I, I would say here. Um, you know the practices which are utilizing overjet software. One of the things that he thinks that comes to our uh, to to us as a feedback is the fact that hygienists uh, are one of the biggest champions of the software as well. But also they they they're more excited about their jobs. They're more excited about what they're doing. Because they get to do the stuff uh, they actually signed up to do. Because no one, no, I, I'll give you a good example of this. Like in marketing, we always say, hey, you got to get more Google reviews. And people go, okay. And they go to the front desk person or they go to the hygienist or they go to somebody in the office and they say, you need to sign up more Google reviews. And no one ever wants to do it because it's not part of our job, right? Like no one, no one got into dentistry so they can ask for Google reviews. So no one's ever excited to do it. And, and I, I feel like a lot of like the hygienist job and even some of the dentist job, that's not really what they signed up to do. And, and it's a lot of busy work that you could, if you could take off their plate, it allows them to elevate w- and do the things they really love to do all day long. Is that, is that, am I getting that right? Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, and, uh, and be more confident in their, in their everyday, which helps them, you know, be more fulfilled in their jobs as well.